Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with a challenge video. Want to know who challenged me? Stick around. Alright guys, so Caitlin over at Uncle Pops and Unicorns challenged me to show off my well, five female pops. So I tried to pick my five favorite female pops, each with a reason why. It was a little rough on some of them. At first, I'm like, I don't even think I have five. Am I going to show off five Wonder Womans? But then I started looking and realizing I do have five. So I'm going to show them off, but in no particular order. Okay, so we're going to start off with first, Lorelai Gilmore and the Gilmore Girls. I know when the Gilmore Girls originally came out, I was not really into it. I never even attempted to watch it. If I did, I probably would have liked it back then. I believe it was when I was at home on LOA that I was looking for things to binge watch. And this had always been one of those maybe things. And I decided to binge watch it and fell in love with it. So it is actually one of my favorite TV shows and she's one of my favorite characters. There is only three pops in this line. I wish they would add a few more. But either way, still a favorite for me. Next pop, let's go with, well, let's go with another one like this. Sandy. Sandy Olsen from Greece. Uh, Living Newton John. I actually have seen a Living Newton John in concert. <laughs> Back uh, for the physical tour. That tells you how long ago, right? <laughs> but Greece was always one of my favorite movies growing up. I still really enjoy Greece. I have many copies of it. I do have all four pops in the set, but I just wanted to show that off as one of my favorites. I love it, Living Newton John, and I love this movie. All right, next, let's go with Deborah or Debbie Perry, as it's listed on here, from Blondie. I love Blondie. This is one of the bands I grew up listening to. My parents were fans of Blondie. I have never seen Blondie in concert, but I know my parents have. This was a really awesome pop, and when it came out, we were still kind of new. Yeah, see, 2019. It was like within our first year of um, collecting Funkos, and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have it, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. This was like one of the first pops that was released after we started collecting Funkos that I got excited about. Most of them were already released when we, you know, came in to collect them focus. So that one's really cool. Next one, one of my favorite shows. I don't think she gets enough credit for anything, and she's in like three top TV shows. But, you know, it is what it is. But this one is Gemma Teller, which is Katie Seagal. If you didn't know, Katie Seagal actually is a singer. She actually, in Sons of Anarchy, does a couple remakes or cover tunes, I guess you would call them. I really like For a Dancer, which is Jackson Brown, but she does do a cover tune of that, and I really, really enjoy that song by her. Also, if you didn't know, she's Peggy Bundy, and she's also in Futurama. So, I mean, come on, you know doesn't get enough credit but still an amazing pop amazing tv series i love 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 this pop i do have the whole set nice small sets are easy to collect <laughs> all right and then last but not least this pop actually i'm going to take it out of the pop protector to show it off originally but this would be wonder woman um, as most people know, for me, it's Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, but I chose this one for other reasons. This one is my signed pop. From the current Wonder Woman, so that's pretty awesome. You know, I'd love to get a Linda Carter one to go side by side with it. The reason I took it out of the pop protector, because this is the pop protector that it's in. See, this is sent to me by Martin. So this is pretty awesome. So I do keep it in this one because this is my favorite Wonder Woman pop protector with my autographed Wonder Woman pop. 
So those are my five favorite pops. Um, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit to this and add five pops, five female pops I would love to see Funko give me. Okay, number one, Janis Joplin. Give me a Janis Joplin pop. Number two, I'd like a Pat Benatar pop. I think that uh, even if you don't give me a solo pop by her, there are some awesome, like, get nervous uh, pop albums that you could give me. I would like a Stevie Nicks pop. There are many forms of Stevie Nicks you can give us that would be quite amazing. You gave us a Lady Gaga pop from that horror TV show. Oh, I can't think of what it's called. I watched it, but now I can't think of what it's called. But you didn't give us a Stevie Nicks pop. So I'd like a Stevie Nicks pop. Next, I think female wise, um, I guess that you could count this as four and five, or we can count it as a duo, kind of like, you know, when they gave us Steven Tyler and Joe Perry, I think they need to give us Ann Wilson and Nancy Wilson from Heart, and I think that would be quite amazing, and I would be quite happy with that being number four and number five, but I do think that Funko needs us to give us a few more female rock pops. Yes, I know I got a Joan Jack coming. I know there's a Shania Twain. There's a Deba, Debbie Harry. There's Britney Spears. I have all the Britney Spears ones. There's uh, Selena. There's uh, all kinds, but there are many more they could give us. TLC, you know. But there are tons. Give us the Go-Go's. I mean, there are so many. Uh, Cindy Lauper. Okay? There are some iconic female performers out there that you could give us. I know you just gave us Whitney Houston. What about a Tina Turner? Okay. What about um, a Cher? A Sonny and Cher? I mean, so come on. But either way, let me get back to what we're originally doing, the five female pops. So now I need to challenge two people. I'm not really sure who everybody else has challenged, but I think I'm going to challenge... Nancy and Cisco over at Yavoy. And I'm going to challenge Sharon from Sharon Pops and Plants. Those are my two challenges. So hopefully you guys will have fun with this and you'll challenge two more challenges. Alright? Again, there you go, Caitlin. You got some Wonder Woman, some Blondie, some Gemma Teller, some Laura Gilmore, and some Sandy Olsen. So those are my top five people. Pops. All right, guys. Bye.